for Sinatra's most important work was for children. Through the Children's Center she founded in Eisenhower Medical Center compound, she was able to help thousands of abused children over the past 30 years. KMIR's Kitty Alvarado live outside that center right now with that part of the story. Kitty, good evening. Good evening, Gino. You know, over 23,000 children walked through the doors of the center and their lives were better for it. And now the people who work here and the countless volunteers say they're honored to carry on Barbara Sinatra's legacy. There's a place in the valley that's a refuge for children who've suffered the unthinkable. So here is where children who have allegations of sexual abuse or physical abuse We'll see um, a Barbara Sinatra Children's Forensic Examiner. The Barbara Sinatra Children's Center. From the beginning, Barbara's goal was simple. To help kids that were in pain. And that was 100% her idea. Um, she went to her husband, Frank, and said, we need to do this. When people here got word their founder passed away, their hearts were heavy. What she's brought to um, thousands of children um, over the last 30 years and I had tears in my eyes, and it's a, it's, a, it's a big loss. She wasn't just a name on the building. She always made sure this nonprofit didn't go without. Barbara came in. She looked at the equipment and said, John, this equipment needs updated. We know someone can get a checkbook out and give these professionals what they need so these children are heard and listened. And that was just her tenacity, like, make it happen, it will happen. When Barbara Sinatra started this center, child abuse was rarely spoken about. Now, her name will forever be synonymous with services that help children heal from wounds that are often invisible. We say, I'll meet you at Barbara Sinatra. Oh, we need a Barbara Sinatra forensic interview. We need a Barbara Sinatra medical exam. Everything is coined under her name. Her legacy will continue to live on as, as long as these forensic services are provided. And while she lived in a world of beautiful people, she made it her mission to make sure the least among us knew their lives were beautiful too. She saw these, especially girls, whose heads were down, they had terrible low self-esteem, they were very traumatized, and she felt it was her job to help them get over that and live a normal life. Another part of her mission was that these services were available to everyone. No child was ever turned away if their family couldn't afford it. And now her very best friend, Nell DeLins, came by this morning. She's absolutely heartbroken, as all of her loved ones must be. We hope they find comfort in the legacy of love she left behind through this children's center. Reporting live from Rancho Mirage, Kitty Alvarado, KMIR News. All right, Kitty, thank you. And there will be a service held next Tuesday, August 1st at Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Palm Desert. It is open to the public.